Hey Tekken players, hope you're doing well. So I want to share a little bit of King Tech with you and it's basically a follow up and a little bit further detail into the punishment guide that I did. And very very specifically, in a nutshell, we're going to talk about why if a move is minus 14, you really really should try to punish with this and not be tempted to punish with this. So let me explain a little bit further what I mean. So I've got Raina here because um, as you know, this, and uh, it's not a euphemism, she has a very, very problematic hurt box. So in short, if it works on Raina, it'll work on everybody. And also because she does have quite a few minus 14 moves. So let me show you what I'm talking about and explain a little bit more detail. So let me guess, you've probably seen this a few times. They love this. They absolutely love this move because it launches on natural hit and it's high crushes. So it'll beat jabs. Notice it's minus 14. Now, if you're anything like me, You'll probably punish with this. We all do it. You can admit it. It's fine. Most king mains will punish with that for anything up to minus 15, where we'll try and launch it. Okay. And with good reason why we uh, why we tend to do that. Um, get off that. With good reason because this is comes out in 12 frames. 12 frames back one two. It's got great range. So because it comes out quicker and we've got good range, it's just more reliable, right? Because, you know, when you're talking on, when you're playing online with dodgy connections, you want to, you know, give yourself a little bit extra leniency, where this is 14 frames. So this is the correct punish, but you got to do it, you got to do it quickly, right? Um, which is great. Now, in, in previous games, that would all be absolutely fine. But let me explain why this is so, so much better um, in this game in particular. And I'm kind of like, I'm, I'm going with the ethos of what Tyler2k says. Check him out. He's a really, really, if you want to understand tech and mechanics, he's an absolute genius on the subject. And that is that if you've got the option, you want to take the knockdown and not the frames. Okay. So what do I mean by that? Okay. So when we punish this, what do we get? We get plus five in our favor. Okay. So... That means in terms of options, the very, very obvious thing to do as a king main, right, would be to would be to go for a throw. You know, because we've got plenty of time to get it out, and that will be that'll be all other options in terms of sidesteps and back dashes, okay? That that just works. And also, more importantly, that works against um, that works against uh, heat engages, okay? And this is the this is the main problem. Now obviously the problem with always doing a throw after this is they can duck and launch you for it, okay? So you want to be able to mid-check them to make sure you discourage them from, from ducking, right? The problem is, even when, you've, even when you've got plus five frames, if the Rainer, in this case, or your opponent, if they spam heat um, burst right then, because they've got heat available, it literally beats everything. All these, you know, mids. These are, these are King's quickest mids, right? It beats them. So you lose your turn. Um, and then they've got heat. So suddenly you've gone from doing something to be at a serious advantage. And now you're at a disadvantage. Okay? So that's kind of rule number one. Because it doesn't give as many frames as you kind of would like. Whereas this, this knocks down. And as soon as they're knocked down, they can no longer spam heat. Um... Uh, they can no longer spam heat um, uh, in, um, heat burst. Sorry, they, they they don't. They have to either they have to do one of the ground options. They have to get up in a certain way, or they have to stay on the ground. Okay, they can't just can't mash rage drive. Um, they can't mash uh, heat burst. Whatever. And this is why this move is so critical because this Oki that you get after this knockdown is really really good and i can't stress this enough so just to show you what i mean i've got the dummy here notice on wake up it's on shuffle so that could be anything and any any of the options okay now this does require you to be fast so it helps to have a really a really good crouch dash but let me show you so this is random and i'm going to show you just how many options i i can actually do okay by just doing the same one right watch this
And as you can see, there are a few problematic ones, and I'll go into those in a bit more detail. But basically, if, and it's a big if, if you're quick, that catches every single option that the Rainer can do, apart from getting up uh, straight away, like rolling backwards, okay? So any get up option, and you uh, demonstrate perfectly there, that will that will win. And if any any get up kick, that spring kick, wake up low, wake up mid toe kick, it will counter hit launch if you're quick enough. So I'll just show you again because as I say that these these ones are definitely the hardest. So if they go for spring kick, this is the hardest to uh, well this is the second hardest to uh, counter hit them. See. If you're not see if you're not absolutely perfect, they will come through. Which is why I keep I keep messing up there and getting the down I'm, I'm trying to rush it. Because this is a stance. Even though you see the inputs there, I did do the correct inputs. You've got to do it as soon as it's recovered. There you go. Did it work then? There you go. See, so this does win. But you've got to time it really well. You've got to be fast. The other one, again, in terms of the hardest one to uh, the hardest one to master, is if they do this recovery kick. This is the toe kick. See, but it will win. Trust me. There you go. You just got to be fast. So you have to practice. And as I mentioned before, so if you if you get a down forward one, it's because you try to do the crouch dash before King had recovered. You have to wait for this to recover, then do it. You see, so. Trust me, um, I just did it on random there so you get a rough idea, but trust me, I've labbed this. This beats every single option that they can do, apart from quick stand. And just for context, just to show you just how how strong this is, even if you do the most basic, basic of combos, like of, on the counter, let's say you, you kind of like just, um, you're in a bit of a mad rush and you just realised, watch how much this does. Oops, hang on. I'm trying to do the uh, basic. So there you go, three hit combo, uh, even a monkey can do that, 77 damage. Uh, if you do a really good combo, and I would suggest going for this one due to the um, due to it being more reliable of Axis, uh, you can land 84 I believe. That's if you land a Shining Wizard and don't mess it up, um, right let's try again. There you go, 84. So that's it. That's kind of like if you uh, if you're really on on fire, you know, that's a that's a huge chunk of damage without a wall. Um, but like I said, even if you just do the most basic basic of um, combos, let's see if we can catch you with one. Uh, I've got to still set to the hardest. There you go. 77. And as I say, that's you can see how easy that is, which is. Good to know if you're in the if you're in the heat of battle. So I can't stress enough just how good, <clears throat> excuse me, how good that Oki is. So as I mentioned, the only thing they can do to avoid everything is to kind of do this quick stand, this this wake up backward. Okay, because if you notice from this, okay, is she set to block? She should be. This should this shouldn't work. Oops. Yeah, let me just check, make sure I've got if I've got that definitely set up right. Let me just get to stand up. Yeah, there we go. See, so I can't hit with it anymore. But that is the only way to avoid it, just by standing up. So of course, what happens if they stand up? Do this. And if you're gonna break one plus two, do this. Oops. See? Again, so that's a force 50-50. Can't um both both those animations are the same. So you know, I can't stress enough just how good this is as a punish for anything, you know, for, for minus 14 moves. Because the fact that they're knocked down and you've got that amazing Oki is so much better than this, praying that they don't duck and launch punish you for it, or this, 
and then you're getting, you know, you're losing your turn because you tried to take it back with a mid check and they just spammed the um, heat burst and you lost your turn. So that's all it was. Just wanted to share it with you guys. A little bit of sort of king tech and something that, and I'm, I'll be the first to admit that I always, to be completely honest, I will always punish everything pretty much up to minus 15 with this. So it is something I'm trying to work on. You know, it's one of those, um, it's one of those, uh, practice what I preach or whatever the correct phrase is um kind of what parents say to their kids um do what I say not as I do that that that'll be the one um you know whereas if you go for this as for the reason I've just outlined it's so much better so much stronger so anyway hope to see you guys and I uh, look forward to seeing you in the next one